wealth, fame, laughter. Three losers with a podcast try to obtain this and everything else the internet has to offer, and their funny words drive countless souls to YouTube. You want our opinions? You can have them. We put all that and more into one podcast. Now, you just have to listen. These words lured everyone to our channel in pursuit of a podcast greater than they'd ever dare to imagine. This is the podcast known as One Piece Feast. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of One Piece Feast, the podcast where three losers go through every single episode of One Piece. Ten episodes a week, and then we talk about it. Uh, this week, we went through, what was it, one. 140 to, no yeah yeah 130 1 to 140 mm-hmm. no 141 <laughs> to 150 <laughs> that's what we did yeah. <laughs> 131 were the shitty fillers yeah that's right so this is episode f- 15 of one piece feast sam's enjoying himself a berry pie that he got from the the town in jaya yeah was it Mock Town? Something magical's happening. <laughs> uh, I yeah. skipped the three fillers in the beginning. So did I. So did I. We all did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. <laughs> because <laughs> it's just not worth it. It's just, it just wasn't worth it. You're going to hate going through this recording. <laughs> <laughs> just me smacking lips bro All smack right. your lips spank me um so how did this start i forget uh they got a map there was a monkey man did they oh, start no. with monkey they found yeah. a ship that fell oh, out this of the ship sc- fell out yeah, of yeah. The sky i remember and they got a map and then they were going to uh excavate the ship and then one of the monkey brothers showed up yeah and then this group of episodes ended with cricket's crew got beat up and luffy was running out to to fight the the spring man i forget his name bellamy yes spring man the the most whitest looking enemies <laughs> that they have fought yet. Yeah. He's <laughs> just there. a dude. Yeah. Uh, he sounds, in English, he sounds a lot like a Dragon Ball villain. Yeah, like does. how they talk in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> I will get this treasure and there's nothing like- you can do to stop me. He likes to fucking uh, laugh, so they call him fucking what Bellamy the hyena or something. Yeah, which is fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, what a what a gangster. I hope he doesn't get beat real easy because Luffy's a rubber man. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's back it up. Let's back it up. So, given that the filler didn't happen, Robin's been on their ship for like a day. <laughs> <laughs> probably give or take i'm not sure exactly how long and they're all okay with her already yep all right. of them so barely anything happened and they're just all okay with it i'm sure something will come up where either they have doubts about her or like they show camaraderie and she's like oh <gasps> but like right now it's just kind of it's just kind of awkward that nobody's talking about the elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm going to go with the second thing you said. She's, they're going to, like, Luffy's going to save her and tell her she matters, and she's going to look at him and for mm. a second and be in complete disarray about it. Like, <gasps> what? Sam, that doesn't happen until someone, the end of Annie's lobby. Someone cares about me? <laughs> I've never had this no, before. I've been on the road no, all my life. Like, you know, a huge spiritual moment will happen, and then she'll immediately love the whole crew, and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when they were excavating the ship, I'm surprised yeah. they sent Luffy down there because he has a, he can, he has a devil fruit. <laughs> like, he's probably the last person they should send down there. I mean, I understand that he's strong, 
but also one thing goes wrong with those barrels he's dead yeah then it's just oh now one of the other two have to save him yeah and then it's just a shit show but whatever whatever yeah um did did you care about the monkey guy at all Uh, not really I'm farting so much. Good for you. (laughs) Okay. I thought it was a very interesting uh, way that they floated the ship. It was kind of, kind of interesting. The that's that's like Masura blew the air into the. You can say that about literally like any character in One Piece. Just that's interesting. (laughs) <laughs> it's an That's interesting, interesting way that they the did way this. They went thing. about anything to do with him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like how the giant turtle, the giant turtle that showed up, was scared out of his mind for the fucking the giant men, the giant shadow men that showed up in the sea. It was a very good way to 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 give you a sense of scale. They're like this yeah, thing's big. I really like that. It's a lot like how you said like they show people's power. You're like this thing's big, yeah. but then there's this thing that just shits on it completely. Like you're even bigger. Yes. Whoa, there's always like a bigger fish or I like, something. I like when So uh you made me think of it with what you just said about the about the the really tall giants. So I like when Robin shows any emotion besides straight face. Uh-huh. So the the adventure that they went on to get to uh, the the place that happens in the next episode that we'll talk about, you know, uh, Sky Island, Sky as far Pia. as we know, that's what it's called. Yes. Um. Well, the map said Skypea. Oh, it did. Fuck. Okay. Well, Skypea. The from like from the time they saw those those giants till then we see a lot more like emotions from Robin, which I thought was nice. Like they're starting to like, I don't know, show her be scared of things, which is cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's surprising given all she's seen in the past. It's like it took a fucking wait. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. This is why I hate fucking when I watch past the episode, <laughs> then I always am ready to spill. What Same I was so saw. lethargic to watch One Piece, and then in two days he watched fourteen episodes. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, when it's good, it's good, guys. Um, yeah, I like how the filler they were dicking around, and even in these episodes they were kind of just dicking around, but for some reason. The episodes are just so much better. I don't know if it's because they relate to like important topics or if they're just better written, which they are, but it's just, it's staggering the difference between the filler and then these. The, um, (laughs) that episode used some CG for the water also, and it didn't look bad. Even for today's standards, it didn't look bad. But this was like 2000. This was pre Shrek. <laughs> yeah, it looked okay. It was pretty good. And I'm saying that like now. Yeah. Like back then, my dick would have been so hard <laughs> as a 12 year old. Me as too. As a fucking 13 year old. Whatever. I would fucking be hard as a rock seeing that. Yeah, in 2000, but, when you're 12. Yeah. <laughs> I was at 12. <laughs> I was... Wait. Oh, I was si- like six. Four. <laughs> I was four. I was four in 2000. Well, technically, these episodes are from 2003. Oh, okay. Really? Well, I guess, yeah, looking, three years. I'm looking at the original. Doesn't matter. Year. I was so off. I was, I was so fucking <laughs> It's off fine. There. It doesn't... It literally doesn't matter. I really missed the mark with that one. Okay. Yeah, you don't um, need to be good at math. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah, never learned. Wish Eddie could have taught me. Um, <laughs> yeah, like I gave you a spelling test. Yeah. All right. Anyway. Uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I, you only see her give that 
emotion that I'm talking about once so far. But I did watch ahead a little bit. I'm not going to talk about that too much. I'm just going to say you see a lot more of it. She is in awe at what they experience, which I think is pretty cool. It's really like, I think it's helping her to, like character development a little bit. Just like showing any other emotion other than I'm a badass and that's all there is to it. I'm a mischievous and little quiet. sneaky. I'm quiet and I'll stay on the ship for three days straight and not talk to anybody. It's my ship now. <laughs> Read. Book. I don't know. She's 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 starting to grow on me a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, the monkey, he's fine, I guess. The, yeah, the brothers are okay. I'm pretty sure they're voiced by the same guy. Probably. Also, they should have died twice. Yes, definitely. Fatal blows <laughs> were given to them. <laughs> um, and they were fine. Whatever, no big deal. That's that's just like one of the fucking problems that it One Piece is having, at least so far, with good guys. They'll get fucking slashed, practically in half, shot, drowned. It doesn't matter. Dried Exploded, up. Exploded. Dried up. Oh, they're alive. They somehow survive. Yeah. You're, it takes a little bit of the attention away. <clears throat> you're definitely not too... You're not worried about them, about people losing their lives, really. No, if I see someone, in quotations, die in one piece, they'll, they'll just be back in a few episodes. Yeah, that fucking bird. Yeah. In Alabaster. He definitely should have been fucking dead. <laughs> Out of anybody. And of course, Mr. Ma Ma Ma. Yeah, both of them. Literal bro. explosions. <laughs> literal, <laughs> dude. The fucking ho- the the bird. Oh, I forget his name. He literally took a nuke into the sky and didn't let go of it until it blew up. <laughs> yeah, and then he got to visit his own grave with. And then uh, he's just, just crutches. Fine, dude. He just had crutches. That's ridiculous, actually. And like, his back they, was broken by Robin. Let 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 some of them go. Let them let some of them go. We don't. Just let we, them die. We like, <laughs> like I like to feel like, oh, he's dead. That's crazy. I, I like that feeling. Like it's kind of <laughs> yeah. sad almost. I and mean, it's like you were we upset. Have to go on with the show. You were upset when he died on that died. ship. Like, and then him and, coming back, just spinning on your emotions. Good thing the fucking like the creator didn't help with Naruto, or else Jiraiya would still be fucking alive. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. shit like that. I don't know. Fucking weird. Yeah, he would make Jiraiya come back somehow. Like after they beat Pain, though. Because exactly he like needs to get the character development, thing. but without uh, losing the without actually losing anything. You know. Right. My eyes. So <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. There is. <sighs> Talk about plot armor. Every character has plot armor <laughs> in one piece. Yeah. yeah, it's taken a little too far. Not at yeah. all. How, how'd you guys like seeing Buggy again? <laughs> I would, dude, I actually liked this encounter, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we can all agree like it was kind of cool because it's like Buggy up there thinking he has this huge cock, like King of the <laughs> Ocean, and then the moment Ace is on that ship, Everyone's scared. They don't even want to touch him Buggy's when he's scared. sleeping. Buggy no knows. one wants to touch him. Yeah, well, Buggy. Yeah, Buggy. Fucking knows he'll get fucking slam dunked. Touches yeah. Ace. Well, I mean, all he had. Mm. Well, I guess he knew who Ace was. But you know, being on Whitebeard's crew, got to be some kind of a big shot. Especially, I think he's like. He's high up there. He's like a leader of one of the divisions of Whitebeard's fucking crew. It's isn't Hawk isn't Hawkeye a warlord or something? Yes. Okay, I thought so. Hopefully yeah, he's a warlord. Mihawk. Mihawk. Good for him. Yeah. Hawkeye Mihawk. Mihawk and his baby thumbs. <laughs> I'll never get over. Fucking things. Yeah, <laughs> it was good. Um, Sam, do you know why Ace was there? No. 
while he's still looking for Blackbeard. Which is why okay. he's close to where Luffy is. Because... Blackbeard. Blackbeard. Go on, Sam. It is... Go on. Black, Blackbeard is... Uh, black, black. <laughs> black. Black. <laughs> black. Blackbeard is you Luffy. Can do it. Yes. Oh, no. Okay. He's Luffy. Okay. Right on the nose, right there, champ. Okay. Weird champ. Wait, no one actually knows yet. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they went out and said it, but the, the character that was there that ate all the pies or he liked the pies and got into an argument with Luffy. Oh, that's Blackbeard. The person that Ace is looking for. The person that Ace what wants to fuck? fuck him up. What the fuck? Dude, what the heck? That's crazy. It's Blackbeard, the legendary pirate. He looks like a dope. <laughs> <laughs> He's big and is missing teeth. He's also, well, also, they are big and they are missing teeth. Did you like that? Yeah, they, them pronouns. They were woke in 2001. Luffy and Zoro are woke. Truly ahead of their Honestly, time. You that was you surprising. Love I love to see it, really. Yeah, it was, like, was kind of cool. Sam, did you get that? No. Did you get that? You didn't? You didn't? Maybe the sub was different. I don't know. <laughs> Nami Nami kept referring to, like, what was that guy's problem? And then Luffy, I don't know what exactly he said. He's like, let the guy dream or speak his whatever. And then Luffy was like, also, it's not he. And then Nami was like, it's not he. Then what is it? And then Zora was like, it's probably they. And then they kept walking. There's no way that was made in <laughs> 2003. There's no way they did that. <laughs> yeah. It was, though. They did it. They were ahead of their time. I guess I'll have to see what it said in sub, but in dub, that's, how it, that's exactly how it played out. It was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then I think fucking a billion chapters in the future, I think it comes back. I'm sure. A little throwaway they comment. So what did we think about the the first encounter with uh Springy Boy? Yeah, let's talk about Bellamy. 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 <laughs> The bad name, Springy Boy's better. Generic like white dude. Boy. Yeah. Generic Dragon Ball Z dude. villain. So did you guys like that Luffy um is dumb ninety nine percent of the time, but in this one moment he just <laughs> has this insight like yeah. to not fight back and like is just immediately OP and like I don't know. He j he just turns into this fucking he turns serious wise old man yeah. like I won beat the, fight the shit out of me go for it because I that stand kid won for the fight without more. throwing a single punch yeah it was kind of weird it was weird <laughs> I mean I knew they I... were gonna explain it as like oh they're not the target or some dumb <laughs> shit I knew they were gonna do that I get I get why they would do it out of principle especially because the guy said no fighting in his bar. And it was just not really a fight worth it. But also, I mean, Luffy's punched people for less things. <laughs> that's what. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's like, but did he this, really have those instance, principles on his mind? No. <laughs> I he would, told Zoro not to fight. Like, don't yeah. hit back, no matter what. Like, okay, made Luffy, him look like big man now. Wusses. Just punch him a bunch. Just do it. Yeah, the whole situation could have been 
dealt with with a single punch. And then yeah. Cricket wouldn't have gotten beat up. We would already be in Skypea if Luffy just punched that motherfucker the first time. No, they had to wait for the thingy. They would have already been there waiting for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, uh... <sighs> Mock Town's a real shithole. <laughs> oh, for yeah, sure. Yeah, stupid. That's I don't know. If, if I was a pirate, I don't know if I'd want to hang out over there. Hmm. <laughs> Guys giving you apples that explode for no reason. <laughs> It's okay, you ate the one that didn't blow up. Thanks. <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Mm. What about fucking the little story of Nolan the Liar? <laughs> Reminded me a lot of uh, Usopp. Yeah. And Usopp's over there throwing shade about Nolan the Liar. I was kind of confused about Cricket's feelings for the story at first, like his family. Because, mm-hmm. like, obviously he's there looking for it, but he claims to not have any sentiment toward the old man, so I don't... It's interesting. Just wants respect on the name now. Yeah, he's like, listen, fuckers. I'm not letting this bag of bones rotting six feet under curse my name anymore that's why I'm proving him right (laughs) yeah exactly and who knows maybe he will I mean it seems like they're sure gearing up to find a sky island after all yeah they they're definitely not gonna find it immediately after there, there. <laughs> you start the next out of ten, there isn't a whole arc named the Skypea arc. <laughs> Is this the arc you guys were talking about, where some of the strongest people you see in the whole show? Yeah, I said this last are just, episode. Are just there. <laughs> one, there's one man that's one of the strongest characters in the entire universe. Is <laughs> In Skypea. That's just wild. Okay. I'm kind this, of excited. This early on. It only makes sense that he'd be on an island in the sky. Maybe it's be. God. It, I mean, it honestly maybe it does. Is God. Maybe yeah. It's an allegory for God. Maybe it's maybe it's God. It's God. Um. Knew it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to see Jesus Christ in one piece. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Luffy goes against Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't it no, it is God. Um I don't know why I have this written here, but I have written Mihawk smiling equals big boner. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming in one episode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mihawk saw Luffy's new bounty and Zoro's bounty, and he smiled. And I was like, ooh. He's he like, sees they're getting stronger. I knew it was good to let them go. I knew it was yeah, good to see what they could turn into. They're both uh, worth a total of, oh, what, 160 million berries? 160 million berries. Yeah. Million. Million. That's crazy. It's a lot of berries. The other guy's not even worth half that much. And he's such a big shot. It was like, what, Bellamy was, what, like 55 million or something? I think so, yeah. Yeah, even Zoro's was higher than his. Yeah. <sighs> what a it makes sense. piece of shit. Yeah, fuck that generic white dude. <clears throat> yeah, I'm. I'm so glad. The uh, the ending for this set of ten was a really good setup. It was a really good uh, cliffhanger ending, where they're about to fight because, of course, they had to go and find a stupid bird. 
just so then they had an excuse for Cricket to be alone so he can get beat up. <laughs> exactly. Literally. That that episode was okay. <laughs> and how did I know that the bird wasn't going to be caught by those nets? It was going to be the arms of Robin. How did I know? Right from the very start. Really? Robin is going to get I that bird before anybody else. It's because she's just, very efficient. I absolutely predicted that was going to happen. Wow. I'm pretty smart. All right. Yeah. Um, what else happened? I did That's think right. that the bounty reveal with all the bad guys was done really nice. Where the guy walks up and he's like, this this kid's actually worth a lot more. And then everybody for oh, a second yeah. was like, oh, shit. We no, fucked that was up. Good. That was good how, like dramatic that scene was like they actually made it really like like they made them so scared but then of course they were like drunk i can't i can't read this yeah they're like tries again this is a total lie oh yeah 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 he couldn't read it and then he's like (gasps) and then he runs back and then the tension just grew and um spring boy is just like no (laughs) trying to play it off he's just like doesn't matter. It's just a piece of paper. He's like, these guys lie all the time. You saw him earlier. The reason why he wins so many fights is because he never throws a punch. He's so weak. He kills them with fear before they even fight. Yeah. I guess we'll see in episode 151, huh? The same number as the uh, first amount of Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. You know, 151. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, I do want to say that the preview at the end of 150 showed so many important people. Good. So many important people were shown in the preview of that episode. I didn't like watch the preview. I, I, what? I saw that and I was like, uh, <laughs> okay. Wow, they're really introducing these guys early. It's yeah. crazy. He really he really had this entire fucking universe thought up before he even put pen to paper, I swear. It's crazy. Are you talking about the little meeting? <clears throat> yeah. It looks like a little meeting in the preview. Yes. I can't I couldn't even re- I can't even remember those guys face faces. <laughs> I just def- I saw them they look like main characters that are going to come up and I was like ah, that guy looks scary. Oh look, Mihawk's there. Yeah. Oh, he's scary. They showed Mihawk. They showed uh Bartholomew Kuma and Doflamenco. Doflamingo. Um and I think they showed Whitebeard too. Like they showed fucking so many people. This that episode's probably gonna be a mess. <laughs> with how much like info dumping they're gonna do with all these different sides and like factions and p- people. But it, it it's okay. It's it's gonna be a great it's gonna be a great time. And uh Yeah. yeah and in I don't know how many episodes. 30 episodes you'll you'll meet god so i think i think this is a good time good spot to wrap up this episode of one piece feast you guys have any final final thoughts about this group of 10 episodes i thought it was a decent time moral of the story beat up generic white dudes they deserve it (laughs) yeah honestly they're all pretty uninteresting white dudes (laughs) on his crew (laughs) zora not interested (laughs) <laughs> You're right. He doesn't. He didn't go to fight them. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's uh. Let's wrap this up, and we'll we'll meet you next time when they are hopefully uh. on the Sky Island. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you later.